Okay, I switched over to 40 meters and I got, uh, got another contact going here. Hopefully we're on the same page. I sent his signal report. He should roger back with my signal report. And he's coming through. All right. That's the way it should work. I asked a question on Facebook and got a response back when uh, when people don't uh, when they send the same thing over. Uh, what uh, the other operator does is he takes auto sequencing off and then he goes ahead and sends the, the next report should be sent but when auto sequencing works boy it is slick all right I think that's the first contact on 40 meters with my new antenna I've got a 8040 double bazooka from ultimate antennas and I'm gonna do a review on it but that's my first contact on 40 meters with it actually that's my first contact with it Oops, need to uh, enable CQ. My first contact. SWR is good on it. I've checked it on 80 meters, 40 meters, it even seems up on 20. Uh, and uh, like I said, I'll do a review on it later. But anyway, I'm enjoying FT8. You know, sometimes it doesn't work exactly the way that I, I want it to. Uh, I'll have to go back and change some transmissions or I'll have to use the, uh, the chat feature in JT Alert and all you have to do is go up to view and bring up the text message window text message and send a little message to the other station and uh, you know I don't really care to do that but what the heck Call CQ. Okay, I got another one here, KD6UI. And, uh, well, I'm glad I had the auto sequencing enabled because I was doing something else. I was asking a question on Facebook to the WSJTX community and almost missed it. Uh, so, boy, yeah, I'm glad I had it going. Yeah, I'm wondering why I call CQ and then when I send my 73. Uh, it disables the transmit and I want it to stay enabled so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK it's gonna log it it sends it to qrz.com sends it to Twitter sends it to hrdlog.net and sends it to eqsl but you'll see enable transmit gets grayed out so I have to go back and select enable transmit I thought by going up to file and settings and in here deselecting disable transmit after sending 73 I thought that uh, that would take care of it but evidently it's not I'm probably doing something wrong so hopefully somebody's got an answer for me I'm gonna continue sending CQ and see if I get an answer to my question Okay, I got somebody else in 3WZU. And, uh, yeah, I asked my question on Facebook to see if I'll get an answer to it. Boy, uh, this uh, 8040 uh, double bazooka is doing a pretty good job. It's 5 o'clock here, and I'm on 40 meters, and I'm making a few contacts. Uh, I am running uh, quite a bit of power, though. I'm running more than I like. Uh, it's up to 30 watts right now. 30 watts of power. I probably entered the wrong power in the last couple of contacts. I wasn't paying attention to it. 30 watts is what I usually run on PSK. But my understanding is FT8 uh, is not as sensitive 
as say uh, JT65 or JT9 so maybe uh, we do need to run a little bit more power I don't know I was reading another forum and guys were saying yeah use the power that you need to to make a contact just don't don't uh, put out a dirty signal and I'm not putting out a dirty signal so I'm running 30 watts and I'm making some contacts. The band's in poor condition, so maybe that's just what I need. Okay, that's my video making FT8 contacts. I hope you find this video informative and useful. Please visit my website www.k0pir.us. I have an article on setting up the ICOM 7300, WS, JTX, and JT Alert. Thanks again for watching, 73 and good DX.